First of all, yesterday, or the day before, you lose track when you're campaigning. It's one long 522 long days, and they all blend into one. She, was, uh, she had Eric Holder in town. I'm like, that would be like me bringing Charles Manson in town to campaign for me. I would not be caught dead with Eric Holder. This guy, I mean, what a shame that you would think that that's somebody who you'd want to campaign with. In all seriousness, think about what that guy was behind. A gun-running scheme, operation with the Mexican cartels that ended up killing Brian Terry, a brave veteran and a brave Border Patrol agent. And she's campaigning with this guy like it's a good thing. This tells you who she, who she associates with. It tells you who we don't want in office. And we don't want Katie Hobbs anywhere near the governor's office, right? And then she brings, um, she, they bring out the big guns, which is Barack Obama. And exactly. Actually, I think somebody did show up at, at the rally. I don't know if you saw the video. Somebody... Uh, showed up at the rally to remind Obama that he happened to be campaigning for a woman in Katie Hobbs who was a twice convicted racist. Can you believe it? It's like he's on stage, our first black president, on stage stumping for a twice convicted racist who pays women of color $30,000 less than she pays men doing the same job. And he's actually showing up in town campaigning for her. It shows you the, the hypocrisy of the left. I'm so tired of that hypocrisy. They call us every name in the book when they, in fact, they've been calling us racist for how long? And here she is a twice convicted racist, costing us $3 million.